Welcome to Xbox Uncut, episode 280, Seventh Times a Charm. We're back for another week. Video game news, discussion, well, maybe a little anime. But joining me this week, I have the wonderful Steph. Welcome to the show, Steph. Yo. And we have Will. What's going on, Will? Hey, not much, not much. Uh, I know we're a day off, but yeah, I was honestly just really under the weather. Just ended up sleeping through the entire day pretty much uh but i am back charged ready to go uh supposedly eric will be here at some point in time i <laughs> cannot guarantee when that will be uh but one day one day people That's what i'm <laughs> expecting uh but we have uh it was kind of a nice little news week i'm going to start with a, a little bit of a nicer story there was a uh they were showing the 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 new grunt voice actor <laughs> of uh, for Halo Infinite, and it's a puppy. It's a puppy. Yeah, it's a pug puppy. Yeah, it's it's a, a beautiful pug. Yeah, <laughs> and all the you know, of course they you know they had video of the pug making all the snorts and growls and all that stuff, and it, it was you know totally on on point like i was like yep that's how otis sounds he's awesome this is <laughs> so gonna say they could have just gotten otis for this you didn't, you didn't yes. need a different dog you know otis is right. up for the job but you know but yeah it's an awesome little video it, it, you know and it's cool to see uh them use you know actual animals to, to use their sounds because it, it like using a computer to alter like uh voices for humans to there's always kind of this weird thing and you just you know, usually it sounds good. Like, don't get me wrong. I think the sound design in Halo is fine. But, yeah. like, it's cool to just see, like, yeah, it's a pug. Why not? <laughs> Why wouldn't, like, a grunt snort and, <laughs> like, breathe like that? Because especially with the respirator and all the stuff going on on a grunt, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense for that to be the application, you know? It's just, I just thought it was funny. I enjoyed it a lot. See, I thought it was for the Elite. Like for the elites, like I guess I thought he was doing it. Uh, it would work for that. Maybe I didn't read it then. Yes. I thought it was just, yeah. It was for the grunts. <laughs> so it was for the grunts. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Because they usually have those squeaky, like, high pitched voices that are like. These aren't the only, like, the, it's not just the pug that's going to be the voice of it. It's the, I guess they will still have the voices. <laughs> yeah. It's just all those, like, growls and all that stuff could be, this, you know, in there. Will well. they still talk? I believe so. Well, gr- why they wouldn't? Like, because they used but to say stuff. It was funny. Yeah, and the Halo games have has switched it up a lot because it's either been we couldn't convert their language, so you would hear like these like I forgot what game it was. You would just have random language, like a random language for it, uh, and you just didn't understand what they were talking about. And then you had the like you said the funny line, you know, funny quotes that you always got from the grunts. Mm-hmm. And now you got pugs. Now nah, you got pugs. That's right, people. Pugs. Yeah, speaking of Halo, sh- I feel like we should be getting more by now of like that that game, Infinite? like more foot like footage or something. I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know. We should have some something more concrete. Like, if, I mean, I know it's like in 2020, but I don't know. Maybe with the with the with the people leaving, like the executives, maybe that means like uh, it has a little bit more to go. It's hard to say though. I would like to see some gameplay footage. <laughs> You think yeah, maybe, I, uh, yeah, no, no, waiting to no show gameplay that footage, just pug footage. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe uh, XO19 they'll show some footage or highly doubtful. It's possible. Possible. Yeah, that'd be nice. It'd be a nice bonus for that show. All right. Uh, they also we had Microsoft release the Xbox Cloud app for Android. I don't know if y'all have downloaded it yet, if you have an Android phone, uh, the game streaming app. Uh, With that, they've also released an insider build for the alpha and the skip ahead where you can test your console to make sure that it can connect to your phone. And it it just tests your your internet connection by looking at uh, just your latency and your network specifically to see if it's going to slow it down. Mm. <clears throat> so I do recommend uh, downloading the game streaming app. Does anybody else have Android or just me? 
Yeah, I have Android. Um, I haven't tried it yet, though. It's, it's available now. It the, uh... Yeah, you can download the app. It. Did you sign up for the beta or? Oh uh, no, didn't sign up for that yet. No. Sign up, Will. No. <laughs> no. We gotta, we gotta be able to talk about it, Will. <laughs> sign up. Xbox.com slash game streaming, I believe. Is where you sign up. Yeah. Yeah, they announced that in, uh, on the Xbox in, inside Xbox, right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, if it's still on, I might try it out. Uh, you can still sign in, right? I mean, sign yeah, in. Um, you should still be able to sign up. Sign up, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll try it out. I have an iPhone. I, I can't day. do it. One day. I, I have an iPhone. Sorry, Infinity guys. Infinity Notline wants to know what are you waiting for, Will? <laughs> That's the question in chat. You need to step up your game, sir. Step up your game. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. What else do we have? I put pulled down my news one second. I gotta pull it back up. Let's see. Do do do. We got Game Pass Ultimate now includes Spotify for six months. That's pretty. Cool. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I mean it's a nice little bonus. So you know, it's of course it's a limited time offer. It's available in the U.S. and the U.K. while supplies last. Uh, but it can't be combined, and you can't have had uh, Game Pass before, Ultimate before, I believe. So you got to hook up that. Uh... You got to be one of those people that just refused to get it, and now you finally cave, get that six months <laughs> of Spotify. It's a good deal, though. I was like, I, I, nice I use YouTube part. Premium, so I'm good. I do too, but that doesn't really give you a ton of music to go through. I mean, what? You should just well, get on Google Play Music. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice. You're not little... using Google Play Music. I still use Spotify. Oh, okay. But I use Spotify. Go ahead, Will. For all other reasons. What's up, Will? Uh, no, I mean it's a nice little incentive if you uh, if you have Game Pass Ultimate already, or uh, if you want to get that service. Uh, but I think it's a limited offer only, right? It's only for like uh, six months or something like that. Well, yeah, it's six months. That's what I said. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's that's decent. I mean, I, mean, uh, I don't. If they were going to give it out forever, that'd be fucking insane. <laughs> Does it I go mean, both ways? Do you know? What's that? Like, if you get Spotify, do you get Game Pass, or is it just the other way? I around? think it's just the other way around. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if they're they're going to be offering different types of promotions with Game Pass like this. I think maybe they'll add um, like movies for like you know. I, I kind of doubt it, but like maybe a movie rental type of thing, just to kind of get you in the service or whatever. Mm-hmm. I could see that using an Xbox Video because supposedly they've yeah. been working on an Android app for Xbox Video uh, for a while. Uh, now. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, they should do that because like um, it's a it's a pretty good video app. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. yeah, they get a pretty stream- decent service on Xbox. Yeah, I mean, streams in 4K, and you can browse all the movies that you've purchased or whatever. Now, there's a way so. to link your Microsoft account to... I forgot what the video app is called. It's like... I'm trying to... Give me one sec. What is it? It's called Movies Anywhere. But the only mm-hmm. issue with yeah. that is you don't get your entire collection. Yeah. How's that? Like, it's... I, I'm, I'm telling you... I do not have my entire collection because I have way more movies and everything than uh, it shows. But it's mm-hmm. only showing that I have twelve movies. Maybe it's Even like I, know uh, I have more on the Xbox. Video. Yeah, maybe like, it's only certain movies that the maybe that are supported. supported. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, because I've tried that too. The the anywhere thing was it? Um, but I, I don't know. This, okay, this like is a... what it says on the bottom of the piece. It says. Movies from Paramount, Lionsgate, MGM, and other non-participating studios are not eligible for movies anywhere at this time. For more information, help visit our help center. So yeah, like yeah. it's yeah. There you go. There you go. But yeah, if they just yeah. release the Xbox Video app on Android, then you know that would solve that issue. I do like the idea of just having one app to control them all. I mean, it's the reason I use Plex and everything else, like things like mm-hmm. that. It's and the fact that Plex is even adding support for like HBO, I believe it's going to be HBO and 
Cinemax and all those are going to have their own plugins into Plex now. So you can put your, pl your subscription right in and just be able to have one app to rule them all, if you will. Yeah, I mean, I feel like the, if they had Xbox Music still around, this, this could have been packaged with that too. Yeah. But it sucks that they took that off. Like, So like, what happens if you had bought music on there? Did they let you, let you download as MP3 well, or whatever? Well, they told us... Because I had music up there. They told you uh -huh. like six months or to a year in advance. Somewhere in there. It was six months to a year in advance. And you would had to you had to download all your music and save it. It, it was uh -huh. all, like they took all Look, the all I want to know is why they didn't tell me about... Why didn't they do this in the... Was it the summertime when they had the deal? I got the deal. I never had Spotify before. And I missed out. <laughs> it's bad. Like Microsoft could did this back then. They're like, oh, well, well. now they're like, oh, damn, we should have thrown Spotify in yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've they've run was Spotify deals cool. multiple times through Xbox. Like, just getting gold, they've had Spotify deals. Really? Oh, yeah. man. I see, I missed that. see, I missed that, too. Nobody told me about Microsoft, didn't I? I would have... Yeah. This is not the, the first out. time them and Spotify have had uh, Damn. arrangements like that. That's yeah. good. Spotify is awesome. Um, thankfully, I do have Spotify. Came with... What the six months came with. That's awesome. That it is pretty good, so it would have been great to have it on Game Pass. So, yeah, definitely a nice incentive if you're like a music buff. Talking but, about like, oh no, what yeah. you have something else to say? Oh, uh, no, that's no, right. Okay, I was gonna say, talk about Game Pass. We have Dishonored 2, Fallout New Vegas, and World War Z coming soon. Uh, Dishonored 2 comes October 3rd, World War Z October 10th. Uh, Fallout New Vegas is October 17th. Panzer Dragon uh, Orta, I, they don't have a date for it yet. Doesn't appear. Uh, what else do they have in here? Felix the Reaper is coming on at day one premiere. I think ukulele too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's honestly, this is a really good month. Uh, I would yeah. really, I do recommend uh, World War Z. It's an awesome game. Uh, and now that everybody will have it other than just me <laughs> uh, might be able to actually get some games in but I really enjoyed what I played of it and it'll be fun to have a bunch of people playing that game is it just multiplayer only uh, not exactly but it's it's pretty much left for dead so I mean it's what it is uh, <laughs> yeah it's a good Game Pass lineup. I mean, Dishonored 2 is really good. Yeah. I recommend that. Mm. Ukulele and Panzer Dragoon Order. So that's good. <clears throat> is that the first time they had a, a, a Xbox OG title on there? Or am I, I tripping? I think you're tripping. <laughs> yeah, it could tripping. be. I think they might have had one before. Uh, I'm just going to say this. Every I'm not buying games no more. Every time I buy a game that's on sale, the shit end up in Game Pass. It's very frustrating. <laughs> it's very it end yeah, up in what? It's, it's in Game Pass. It always happens. Because Game always. Pass is awesome. Like it, they they had to get the <laughs> Game Pass they is have... so awesome. Sony had to drop its subscription in half. You there you see that's the, uh, he beat me before I could say it. I was getting ready. I was like. <laughs> Sony was like, look, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta cut this. Oh, no, no, no. That's, they, they're not, like, they, don't get me wrong. They were happy with their servers, but they were like, look, we need that Game Pass money. We need, we need that Game Pass money. We need to get those <laughs> subscriptions up. Like, yeah. <clears throat> good for them. I mean, it, it's only good, you know, great for consumers. So uh, it's a great thing that we're going to be able to play God of War on PC. Which is crazy. Yeah, because that means Sony has no more exclusives. They're all on PC. <laughs> it's over, we'll, guys. We'll see, Shut up, shop. We'll see, what, we'll see how that works. Uh, I'm just joking. PlayStation will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll only put certain games um, and for like a limited time, so it's not quite as good as Game Pass like, with regards to this first-party content, but I guess it's, it's just to entice people to try the service yeah well so i mean dropping the price in half is also that's specifically to compete with yeah games. yeah it's a lot better but if anything that helps us out personally i think that's going to help us out with microsoft uh 
uh, making sure that streaming might just be part of Game Pass versus if uh, it's not. And, you know, it just adds that competition layer. Because right now, mm -hmm. as far as we know, you're going to have to pay extra for xCloud. Like, we just don't know what that's going to be. Yeah. I think it's if you own the games, you can stream them. So that only makes I sense. You're still using their hardware. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm pretty sure they said you you every game that you own you can stream. They've yeah, already said your Xbox. Would you use yeah. somebody else's hardware? Like it's it's gonna be the question. We'll see how that works out. I yeah. don't think they literally. I'm not sure they literally mean your Xbox has to be turned on, do they? Yes, your Xbox would be the one playing the game and streaming it to your phone for free. They've already said it's going to cost you to stream from xCloud. Because you're I got a feeling it's going to be that way. I think it's going to be different. Because you can already before. It's not, that's not even it. the same thing. That's not even the same thing. You already could do that before. It's no different than the stuff that you were already... Before How all of this xCloud shit, you could already... Microsoft server and stream, play a game off the Microsoft server. Well, what I'm saying you is, you're, you, I'm saying, you're saying that, well, when you stream the game, you're using your console. I've been doing that for like three years yeah, with that's, Xbox. Yeah, that will remain free, that. but it's off of your console using your internet. Yeah, but they announced it like it was going to be something new. That's not even that's not even different from the new. shit they've already been doing. xCloud is new. No, listen to what I'm saying. I said, they said that you can stream the games that you own for free. You told me, you just said, you just said that now, yeah, your console has to be owned. That stuff's free. But we were already doing that. That's something they yeah, were already doing. They, I think what happened when they put the press out for uh, the whole thing, they had it doesn't to even make sense. I think they had what to highlight make, that. I, no, I really don't feature. understand. What doesn't make sense? I'm, I'm confused. I'm, okay. When de I could already stream my xbox console to a local to my device PC. in your hardware like in your in your off your router you cannot stream it to your phone while you're away from the house. i was doing it i've done it i forgot how i did that shit but yeah i, I was doing it yeah you used I was doing it on my phone it. it's, uh, it's yeah, i was using the, okay never mind i was i was doing i was i'm smart so i was doing like Steph, splash i top. think dustin's trying to show yeah, yeah that's what i was doing yeah i see what i actually I, didn't they they enabled that in your phone that was in that's in the Xbox app now. Pretty sure. Is that not already in the Xbox app it's right now on now. your phone? Mm -mm. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I mean, I did try that PC thing you you were talking about though. It, it worked pretty well back then. I mean, I didn't try it again because I remember my girlfriend was using uh, Netflix or whatever, and I was I was I wanted to try the streaming, so I did it on a PC through the like Dustin said, like through the uh, through the server. I mean, you know, your own, your own network, or whatever. It was pretty good. I mean, I I don't think um, I don't know how the XCloud is gonna work, but if it works as good as that, it'd be pretty pretty nice. Yeah, because right now when you open up the app, you get two options. You can either stream from XCloud or you can stream from your console at home. Um, yeah. Okay, so when it's XCloud, you will pay, and it's your game, and it's free. No, no, when it's it's your game though that you already own. Uh -huh. You can stream it away from your house still without paying for it? No. If you own the game? No. Man, they didn't be more specific about this shit. No. Because I, I don't even they, know. They have said that you will pay for xCloud. I'm, I'm, I'm about to look it up. Servers. I'm about to look up the details. Yeah. You're using Microsoft's cloud servers. You're going to pay for the use of those servers. Uh, it would be like... Yeah, I mean, because it also affects people that you know don't own an Xbox. Now, they Phil Spencer did say he would want to do something for people that own the console and own uh, the game. Maybe have a pro rate, something like that. He doesn't, you know, they haven't really said exactly how they're. But they said they're still looking at plans anyway. That they haven't settled on anything. So we'll have to see how that business model turns out. Infinity Line says, so it's just remote streaming like the PS4 has. Part of it is, like, they're, they're doing two separate things. They're doing, the re like, the remote streaming from your console, which is what PS4 does now. 
And then they're also doing xCloud, which is their own server database that'll stream the games from their servers to your X or That's to your phone. PS Now, basically. P- what PS well, Now is? Yeah, it's essentially what PS Now is versus... It's the same setup Sony did. Like, they have... You can stream from the console at home, or you could play for PlayStation Now and stream from PlayStation Now's servers. But you have to pay to use that streaming service. Alright, okay, I got it. I just don't understand how I got that confused, but my idea is... is I, I'm not seeing... I'm not game, gonna... I'm, this is something I'm not extra. paying for. Yeah. I'm not paying for this shit. Wait, you There's have to no pay way for I'm gonna... Buy. That's what I was. That's that's basically what he's saying. That the servers and stuff. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna buy a game and then pay to p- play it through uh, through XCloud too. And I want to use that. Really? Other than the console version or whatever he's saying that he's saying that you can use your stream your console. Yeah. Your own console. I'm not. That's well. You're fine, just no, your own console. You're, you're good to go. No, you well, that might be good. anyway. If the quality might be the same, right? The no, quality, the quality should be, be the same. Yeah. Yeah. So, can you stream your own console through iCloud away from your house? That's what they're doing. That's what the yeah, whole that's what they're doing. That's okay. This... Okay. Okay. Back. So, it'll be away from your you house. Always... You'll be able to like. There's literally there's two buttons. There's one that shows a cloud, and one that shows your Xbox. You hit which service you want to use, which you uh, would be using yeah, your I Xbox. Seen this stuff because I don't have. Oh no, I'm just saying phone. you would you would hit the one that's your Xbox. Your no matter if you're away from the house or not, your Xbox would connect to your phone, and you would it would stream you the desktop of your Xbox onto your phone. Yeah, you just need you to just have like this. Yeah, because well, you know what's funny? Your console's on all the time, most of the, uh, when you're not at home. So you might just you. It's usually it is right. You know, mm-hmm. you could just have games download and update. So this is perfect. Because but if you, you watch like Microsoft's event for the Surface event, which was awesome by the way, but like they showed yeah, off well, for a split second on the Surface Neo. Oh no, it was yeah, it was the Neo. Du- no, duo, it was the Duo. It was the, duo. it was the Duo. And and I think this is going to happen even on your console is you're going to get custom control schemes for games where it's yeah, not just be... not just like a generic controller like you get a custom control screen on the bottom and then you can actually play your game with that custom control screen no matter yeah, if it's yeah. on your Ooh. local xbox or xbox you always get that custom control control speaking screen. of the duo the duo looks fine how much is it they haven't released care. any pricing or anything it, for it. it could be it. 700 dollars or whatever look that thing looks fine well people keep saying like two grand but they're comparing it to the fold while the Duo and the Neo neither have foldable displays, they're just two displays on one device. I mean, they still look really cool, but it's not it looks, the same yeah, mechanical look, issue. We don't know what it is. We don't know how powerful. It could be. It could be great. You know, it's eight point. Was it eight point? It expands to an eight point three inch device. Yeah, it's it's. So we gotta wait to find out. It could be. Could not. It could surprise us in price. I'm tempted just to pick up. Uh, I think I'm gonna buy the Note 10 Plus the next month, and then yeah, get buy it. the Neo next year, and just yeah. not buy the Duo. I mean, I like the Duo, but I feel like the two the sizes. Neo's are... probably gonna be two grand. <laughs> it might no, be up there. I, I nope. really. Do. It's not gonna be anywhere near two grand. It's gonna compete okay. with the iPads. Like if you think oh. two grand, I think you're going crazy overboard. Really? Uh, yeah. It's gonna be. Oh. Like this is this is going to be competing with iPads, uh, and you want the Neo because I how how big was the Neo? Because it's two the not Neo? it's essentially two nine inch screens. Yes, yeah, two nine Neo. inch screens. Eight. But the, like I said, they're not foldable foldable screens. They're just screens that will shut on top of one another in a nice form factor. No, but it also has got remember it got a keyboard, it got a trackpad. Come on, that's got to be expensive. <laughs> those stuff that you could do like remember when he moved the keyboard and there's a trackpad moved it down there's a there's a like a, a, a touch roll with the apps like apple has or whatever mm-hmm. that was pretty i don't know that looks that looked expensive <laughs> that yeah. looked expensive and they said that, that one of the things was an oled that that thing with the app yeah. thing we don't know it might be Gotta wait to right. find out. Infinity Line says, I have the Note 10 now and love it. But now I have seen that the, the Duo, I wish I had waited. I really want the Neo now. 
Yeah, Joel was nice. I and then he replied again with, Neo is like a 3DS for grown-ups. Lol. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> That's true. It's true. But it, it's like, it's the form factor for it's really awesome because it, it's essentially it's a notebook like you could just sit there close it pop, pop it in like a yeah. small bag and then you know go about your business pop it you know pop, take it out of your bag and then have that the, the keyboard and all that like it's just it looks it's a so, really awesome okay. notebook looks... i really like to me that really could be the future of computer. and they made it android dustin so people well, lost duo, their minds yeah. that yeah, they lost their minds. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Microsoft made it Android with that. Well, you know, that's made... pretty cool. Yeah, they like, they made it Android? They lost their minds. They're like, wow. Yeah. But the, the Neo and the Duo, yeah, it's 2020, holiday 2020, with the Xbox One X. That's going to be, if you buy all three, that will be an expensive-ass holiday. <laughs> Who knows where Microsoft? Microsoft be announcing stuff a whole year with such confidence, and it comes out, and it still is the. T- <laughs> it's well, not I impressive. Think... Like it still is the top in that holiday. That's crazy. Well, I, do I don't that. think it's just Microsoft. You're looking at like, except for like Apple, like even PlayStation. Hey, PS 5s coming. You know, over a year. Yeah, now. yeah, you're right. Like yeah, it, it's it, everybody's getting to the point where it's like, fuck it, we don't want to deal with all these people like leaking tons of little things over. Like, yeah, let's just announce it. Screw it. Yeah, hey, it's coming. We're gonna do this. This is the plan. And then just you know, you, you can slowly weed it out with information. I mean, you could say it's good or bad, and you prefer to have like the oh, I just want like two months notice or something. Eh, I don't know, but I, I I like it. I like the fact that they're hey, this is. These are the surfaces we have coming out, like the Surface Pro X. That looks really cool. It's a thousand dollars. Like I'm tempted to buy that Pro X just because it's you know it's gonna be high powered enough to do stuff, and it's just a gorgeous machine. Give you a really good battery life. But at the same time, I I, I want that Neo. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I think that's gonna be an awesome <coughs> machine to have. All right. PlayStation Neo. Nope. Wouldn't that be We're crazy? We're talking about PlayStation. PlayStation is finally allowed made... crossplay support for any title. Wait, what? It's out of beta, people. Well, I don't know if it's out of beta technically, but it's uh, every title can do crossplay now on PlayStation. Let 4. me check that. Yeah. Yep. PUBG has a uh, crossplay now, which is awesome. Yep. Like it plays against uh, PlayStation dudes. You know, it's weird. I don't understand why it was like an argument. That was crazy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Stardew Valley multiplayer update has been delayed again on Xbox One, while the PlayStation 4 release smooths its way through. Xbox <laughs> One is on, well, hopefully the seventh time's the charm. Because <laughs> yeah, they that's have failed bad. six <laughs> times in certification. Uh, Jeez. You, don't, you don't need multiplayer on the Lone Lips, man. What are you talking about? Stardew Valley, sir. Multiplayer update. How it's out on Switch, it's out on PlayStation, times. out on PC. It needs to, <laughs> they need to pass the certification on Xbox. That's, that's the big yeah. question there. And the thing, the funny thing is, it's like certification is not for like bugs because they we, we've got the buggiest yeah, yeah. fucking shit ever to release on Xbox. Like PUBG <laughs> released on Xbox, people. Yeah. Yeah. But for some reason, Stardew must be like destroying Xboxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty it's bad. Close. To be a good game, so it's kind of weird. Stardew's a great it. game; it really is. Yeah, if, especially so. if you enjoy early Harvest Moon games, you'll you'll love Stardew Valley. It's a great game, and I, I'm with you. Like you, like multiplayer is a nicety. It's like for that specific game, it's not like I wouldn't say it's a huge selling point. No, no. I mean that that game is mainly a single player game for the like ninety nine percent of it uh but you know teach their own of course you know i'm not gonna yeah I, I, and i'm not trying to like say oh it's no big they need to fucking fix it and get that update out the yeah fact that i don't they know so certification six times is insane yeah i'm trying to see what the hell would be the the issue there like <laughs> not not sure why they would have that issue like so many times and not have anybody let you know look at it and yeah, you know, it's maybe anybody from Microsoft were like, uh, "Hey, hey, you know, you can fix this. You know, if you do this." <laughs> well, 
I imagine after the sixth time they've they've done that. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I guess I guess you know we won't be playing Stardew Valley in a while for a while. Well, not the multiplayer. We'll we'll find out. Yeah. Seven times a charm, sir. Seven <laughs> times. This is how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky number seven. I'm cool. Everybody knows this. I, I, I'm cool. I'm farming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you know it's a huge deal for, for people who. I don't know. Maybe if you're a Stardew Valley person, then it kind of sucks. But I don't even see a lot of Do you play well? No. I do. Stardew Valley. Oh, you be farming, my guy. Oh, Stardew's great. I loved Harvest Moon growing up, so Stardew's my shit. Like, I'll fucking play some Stardew. I got it on Switch, I got it on Xbox, got it on PC. I I, I used to think Harvest Moon was a was an RPG, like a, like a sword fight in an RPG game. My friend was playing it. He's like, Not oh, at it's all. Harvest Moon is fire. I was like, oh, that's dope. So let me, can I, can I, can I try? And he's like, what do you do? He's like, oh, you gotta like, you gotta like plant, plant. I'm like, plant? We... <laughs> Boy, I threw that damn Game Boy back so fast. I was like, I don't want this shit. I just missed, missed out. Missed out the beauty of Harvest Moon. I, I, I'm good, bro. Like I don't play games at work. I just want to throw it out there. That's like playing Viva Pinata and thinking that shit's a shooter. Like, <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to be like a shooter. <laughs> nah, man. If you go into Viva Pinata thinking it's anything other than a game about pinatas, then you, you got. You, Stardew Valley, or not even Stardew Valley, but Harvest Moon. I mean, that could be, you know, I don't know, man. That sound like that sound like something. It sound like it could be something, man. you know. It's like Golden Sun. I didn't know what Golden Sun was either. Golden Sun is a nice type of game, though. Golden Sun is a little bit different. It sound like know, an RPG. Saying. Yeah, Golden Sun sound, sound like. like Sound like it's, 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 I don't know, man. We're gonna have to talk about that one day. It sounds like of video a, games where like when you it's hear that, nothing like, what you thought it was gonna be. I thought Halo was just gonna be about biblical stories. Oh, <laughs> snap! <laughs> wow, <laughs> uh, you, thought, you thought Master Chief was gonna be a preacher? <laughs> yes, <laughs> until, he, until he came back from the board, found God, that, that Magnum. <laughs> he wanted to spread the word. <laughs> That would That's explain. I, I explained. John, John three sixteen said he just. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get over the sacrilege. Moving back to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Video games. That's uh, crazy. I mean, you know what? Now that I think about it, the elites. The elites. I mean, it the is elite. a whole lot going on, so it's it's funny. Yeah, how kind of yeah. does work out. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. All right, is there any other news y'all had? Y'all wanted to cover? You have one more. What one Microsoft more? spokesman oh. told Gizmodo oh, yeah, that yeah, there's yeah. no camera. That. I'm sorry. Uh, That's yeah. crazy. So, well, there's this big rumor coming up. There's like, there's gonna be a Kinect camera. It's happening. Microsoft's fucking up again. We're getting a Kinect yeah. camera. And it was like, well, the rumor says both PlayStation and Xbox are working on cameras. Yeah, both of them. And then it was like, fuck that. Xbox is going to have a Kinect. It's over. Microsoft's fucking up again. And it's like, Jesus, nah, nah, see the, 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 play, the PlayStation one? That's for VR, man. Don't worry. No, that's for VR. The PlayStation one and the Xbox one, the rumor for both was that, and it makes sense. I mean, honestly, it's. I think it would make sense for both consoles to support cameras for sure. Is just the uh, st streaming's huge. It's fucking. It's bigger than everything now. Like it's bigger than yeah. every sports league. Like video game streaming is the it, biggest it's market. It's crazy out there. what streaming. Yeah, how did it even? Be? It got so. The big. idea just that Sony and Microsoft both are not working on streaming solutions for their next gen consoles is fucking insane. If you don't think Who, that the where did that it, come from? Where did that rumor come from? Uh, I forgot where, exactly where the the rumor came from, but it's it it doesn't matter. They're both working on fucking streaming solutions for their next gen consoles. I when think you whoever, say that you mean 
What do you what exactly you mean? What do you what do you think? Well, I'm talking about in the operating system level, allowing you to sit there and hook up a camera like you can now with an Xbox One, any camera you want, and just streaming and having an overlay, maybe. Essentially, their own yeah, version was... of OBS, I like, but just way less sophisticated, where it's just like, hey, I was, uh, was going to say, and Microsoft's already doing that shit, yeah. honestly. PlayStation, you can already do that stuff, too. Or no, they already both do I, it. They both do it. I'm just saying, like, they're both do it in a very limited capacity. You can see chat. It like PlayStation kind of shrinks the screen down a little bit so you can have chat. Like there's things like that, but there's like we're. I, I think you're gonna see full blown, especially with the the speed of these systems. Just like hey, full blown streaming with a UI. Like we'll put you in a corner, put you you know little picture like pre done packages essentially so you could stream on the console and kind of have like a little bit higher production quality just to make it look cool i honestly think they can do that with the xbox one and the ps4 they don't need to really change much i think they could i think they could do it i wouldn't be surprised if that's just an update probably yeah yeah i mean the fact that they never updated uh what's that shit called on xbox what's that shit called Oh, but you talked about the uh, the video. All that editor. stuff. Yeah. The, the editor and the and the uh, all that the whole the whole thing. I forgot what that shit. They, first of all, they have you? they have upgraded it over the years, but like yeah, nah, been, they ain't re- they, sir. They have upgraded it. I know for a fact. It's Forza. Have, it's Forza Horizon a, Four skins in it, yeah, or is it Forza Horizon Two still? It's just yeah, like it's, um, it's bare bones. Yeah. Edited. Like upgrading. Yeah, it's about the upload studio. Yeah, that's what. Upload studio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That shit. You yeah, can they, use that to live stream, like, no. could you not? No, you not that use that like to like make it together and just like posting them to your Xbox profile. Bruh, damn, that that's that's the old. Streaming. That's the old day. Yeah. That's how motherfuckers was making YouTube videos back yep. then. But right now, <laughs> that's like why with I that Xbox. Was one X, right? If you hook up a hard drive just for capturing, you capture 4K60 at a high bit rate. Like, you can get, yeah. third, I think, like 30, 40 minutes. So, you can get high grade footage without an Elgato or anything and just pop that thing right onto uh, your computer and edit it down or whatever you need to and have just as good quality, if not better, than an Elgato. Yeah. Uh, I mean, can we just take a moment to uh, respect how you said El Gato and it <laughs> and realize that it sounds like a spicy, delicious? Just want to shout out, shout you out for that. It sounds like a spicy, delicious what? Taco, taco, taco sir. Oh, El Gato. Yeah, I, I just had tacos. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, I feel you. I just had tacos myself. That was dinner tonight. Mm. Nobody else joined us though. I know, I know. We was eating like uh, cereal or something. Cheese. I heard a shit. bowl. That's all I know. I heard a bowl, a spoon, and a bowl. It's probably he's eating, that, he's eating that new Pizza Hut cheese it fucking pizza pocket. You seen that <laughs> Wait, bullshit? What? No. Oh yeah, that, yeah. I saw. It. That's disgusting. I saw. That's it. just dumb. Fucking cheese it pizza pocket. Is that what you had, Will? I couldn't believe. It. Nah, we'll probably eating a hearty meal. He probably eating str- stromboli or some shit like that. Stromboli. Yeah. Like fucking meatballs and sauce, sauce. Have you seen the pictures Stop. of the cheese? It. Yeah, I seen that. It shit looks dumb, dude. I'm not eating. That's crazy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I was something out in the girlfriend. Well, have you seen <laughs> pictures of? The he was, he, he's just finishing up his cheese at Pizza Hut. <laughs> yeah, the, the cheese no, at Pizza Hut. Have, have you seen pictures of? I'm sorry, this is real off topic. Oh wait, wait pictures of what, Eric? What would you say? Of the cheese it that the pizza came out with a Pizza Hut stuffed in cheese. With cheese you it. No che- cheese it. Yeah, have you seen that? No, I haven't seen that one yet. Does it right, look good? This. I gotta post. Hell. Yeah, post that picture. Have you? I hey, have you also Podcast seen KFC's new it. chicken sandwich? You seen KFC's new chicken sandwich with the donut buns? <laughs> I think I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's pretty bad. Should look delicious. I ain't gonna lie. What? Uh, man. I don't know about that, man. <laughs> look, I work. I worked there when a double down came out. Wow. <laughs> when I was in high school. So you loved it. You like oh, I eat hell? I'm not eating that shit. That shit had like 1,200 <laughs> calories in it. 
Yeah, that's a lot. Fuck that shit. I know. The, the average, the average uh, adult diet is like based off of like a two thousand calorie diet a day, and that shit had twelve hundred calories in it in one sandwich. <laughs> I remember yeah. this one dude came through the drive thru and asked us to dip it in gravy. He said, Will you dip <laughs> it in gravy? What? <laughs> yeah. There, there was an interesting uh, study about it, though, is when they were asking people what they thought. They, they, they took the Taco Bell taco salad, right? And they asked people, oh, What do you think the amount of calories in this is? And the, I think they said, like, around like four, that, four or five thousand, something like that, oh, right? Shit. And then. Yeah. They made the exact same taco salad with, you know, from the grocery store. And they asked people, how many calories in this? They're like, oh, this is fresh. It's probably about, you know, a thousand calories. You know, not a big, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot healthier. And it's like, no, that shit's yeah. still four or five thousand calories. Wow. Because the thing four is. Four or five thousand calories yeah, well, in the salad? This, this stupid salad. But the point I is, think is when people, think, people, when people look like... at fast food, they understand that it's going to be nasty and fucking high calories. Versus when they look at like home like home cooked food, they underestimate the amount of calories they're actually taking in. Yeah, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that that's just chicken wings well, I had earlier. We, we'll probably... yeah. No, but yeah. when you look at you, you kind of like when you go to Taco Bell, you in your head you know what you're getting into. There's no fucking question. Right? <laughs> it's not like they're required this is to healthy. on the menu. Like this is this is all fresh food. No, it's like no, this is Taco Bell. This shit's Taco Bell. even if you take they're, the fucking galley required. counter off there, you're still gonna fucking know exactly yeah. what you're ordering because you're like, yeah, I'm at Taco Bell. Like at a Taco Bell, you know, I go like a Taco Bell. If you stay away from too much cheese and uh, none of those uh, heavy cr- creams like sour cream, you could. Well I want it supreme, not. sir. I want to be Can I get it quick. supreme with extra guac? Prophecy nah. says, "What's up, everyone? How are you?" Oh, what's up? I'm yeah, good. What's that's up? all. Yeah, so I'm in the prophecy. Uh, how do you like your prophecy? taco, sir? <laughs> Tell us how you like your taco in the chat. I did, I did try the. Uh, was it? It's like a cheese. It's like the cheese, cheese ca- chalupa. chalupa. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I, I had don't want no fucking cheese on my right. chalupa. I didn't know what I was ordering. I'll be honest, and I got it, and I was like, "Ah, eh, this ain't bad. It ain't bad." <laughs> I don't want that. It's like the I don't I don't like the I don't like that. I don't like the double decker with the like the. It's like a chalupa. Yeah, the chalupa with the, with the, with the heart shell with the, shell, with the uh, bean. I don't want yeah, that. I like that one. Nah, I like that. One. That was pretty good. Is that a little crunchy with the with the, with the soft? Is that what we talking about? Yeah. I think I remember that one. Yeah, it's a, it's like a chalupa with the hard shell. Yeah, yeah, it was good in it. Ah, fuck that, man. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you're very picky, no. man. Wait a minute. The toasted yeah. one? No, the toasted one that just came with. Like, no, no, I'm talking about. I'm just. I'm thinking of all the you're horrible shit that Taco Bell. All the that they've developed over. Yeah, time. like the like a fuck, the props. double XL stuff burrito. But you gotta give props to them. They they had they are the ones who actually had some of the best the best menu items. So they had to like uh, throw some hard uh, ones out. Uh, yeah, I know we're doing a deep dive though. on Taco Wait, Bell real right quick, now. Real but... quick, I got it. I got to throw it out. Eric, Taco Bell has like three ingredients. They got beef, they got beans, <laughs> and assorted sauces. And that be- <laughs> assorted that sauces. Beef is just yeah. now over fifty percent beef. It, yeah. it was it was under fifty percent beef for like the, it's like thirty years. Wait, 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 what? Wait, hold like, on, they, man. They, like no matter wait. what, like there's only so many ingredients they're really using, like. There's some spice differences, but they I'm confused. reuse a lot of those ingredients. Oh, in the I'm exact confused same by two things. One, I'm confused by the reusing, and two, Steph, you just said they just got up to fifty beef. What were you talking about? Yo, remember that shit? Remember, it wasn't real that beef. Shit being sawdust. Wait, hold on. Fifty oh, percent beef taco bell. Oh my god. Yeah, that shit wasn't <laughs> even real beef for the longest, dude. They got sued. Wait, wait, wait. They were sued over the meat that was only 35% beef. Wait, what? Yeah, because it wasn't yeah. beef. It was sawdust, essentially. It was all fiber. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, man. It, it, it wasn't saw. Well, damn. Oh, my God. Anti-dusting agent. What? Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I was eating, I was eating, I was eating sawdust. It was good. <laughs> Why do you think they was calling it taco? They was calling that shit taco hell. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, you. listen. Fucking it was good soda. <laughs> I can't, I can't <laughs> deny. 
All right, here, so here's so the they got up to, Wow. It, it's so Taco Bell seasoned beef is eighty eight percent, hundred percent USDA inspected premium real beef. 12% common ingredients like soy, spices, water, oats, and other words, Taco Bell beef is real beef when when it's added with taco sauce forms of mixture. Uh, so it they have seriously upgraded the, the quality of beef they use at Taco Bell. But it's, uh, yeah. yeah, back in the day, man, back that shit was... Back in the day, I'm looking at it here, they said it was 35%. This ain't no, that's crazy, I don't even know how that was... Wow. That might you might as well, well go down is, to the yeah, local. I keep saying fuck. sawdust. It wasn't really sawdust. It was like what they did mm. essentially. Listen, is put you like was on the right beef. track. They put anti. I know, but they, they they it was like thirty percent <laughs> beef, and then it was like seventy percent spices, where so, they just threw they get additives away? and more additives, how, so they could they say they, yeah, and it's like yeah, that shit ain't beef, sir. That shit ain't wow. beef. Crazy. So t- that's almost like he was eating like a plant-based um, taco. I mean, you ever, have you seen Good Burger? Yeah, I love Good Burger. That was funny. <laughs> yeah, you remember? Remember they had that fucking little big ass burger, and they put that shit on it, and it made a big yeah, burger. Yeah, they put it in the machine. Yeah, they, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's the old Taco Bell shit. <laughs> that's that the did, Taco man. Bell. Prophecy says he likes real that's tacos why, or Taco Bell. That's tacos. why you get the chicken. That's how you got to mix it up. Remember, you get the chicken, and then you. Uh, oh, oh, oh Prophecy is asking if he's if if he likes if if you're asking him uh, like real tacos or Taco Bell tacos. I had real tacos. So. <laughs> like, I didn't have Taco Both. Bell tacos for dinner. Both. I had real Look, tacos. I yeah. ever have you ever went to like a uh spent like a Spanish restaurant or whatever and got a taco and they go you want. Chicken, beef, or steak, and then you was like, "I want all three. You ever got all three in one taco? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think I've done one taco. Oh, that's a horrible thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Not yeah, like three separate tacos, like just in one no, taco. Just... They just do all three yeah. ingredients. No. Yeah, I did that shit one time. Dude looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> like, like, was it like each bite? Did you get a different like meat, or like how did you work this out? Like, uh. I, I, or was it I like it was it layered remember. like side by side or on top of a? One it was it wasn't it was it wasn't like one whatever. It was like a half a scoop, half a scoop, half a scoop. So it was like so a, it wasn't like I got like an double ice cream meat. Sunday. Yeah, it was like Very yeah scoops. Sunday okay. a, a Sunday of meats. A Sunday of meats. <laughs> they must have charged you a, a pretty high premium price for that one. No, they just charged me for the highest meat, which was steak. <laughs> Man, no, they so, didn't charge me extra. All right, all right, so that concludes the uh, the fast food uh, taco podcast. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Taco Bell. How did we get on this anyway? Because you brought up Taco that. Bell. Did I? No way. No way. You brought up uh, cheeses stuff. Oh, he said El Gato, and I said, "Oh, I said yeah, yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Dustin was saying El Gato. That shit sounded like a fucking taco." Oh yeah, yeah that was a huge tangent. Had stuff. I, sh- I should, sorry, I should kill you. Should kill you. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> I just no, want to say just... it one more time, real quick. El Gato. All right. Yeah, El Taco. There you El go. El Taco. El Gato. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, off of, off of the Taco Bell taco discussion. <laughs> now it's time to talk yeah. about fajitas. No, uh, that fajitas would be awful at Taco Bell. Do not do that, Taco Bell. Do not ruin fajitas for me. You can <laughs> they have get fajitas. You never had a uh, fajita at Taco Bell? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Let's let's get off this. No, <laughs> this I don't. Don't even tell me this exists. <laughs> oh, Steph, don't 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 let's not go to this path. <laughs> <laughs> it, this look, will be another it's half 10% hour. It's ten percent real onion. Your, hey, you ain't never heard Peter Griffin order. Don't remember, he's like, "Give me get three chicken vaginas." You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, All right. Oh, so uh, Will's just upset because either. he wants to go to Taco Bell now. Well, you know, it's only one here, so <laughs> out of you know. what this whole freaking city, which is weird, but okay. What what are we? Is anybody uh, have another uh, oh, well, conversation before we move on? Yeah. So, so we got Destiny came out uh, free to play, so it's free to play now. If you wanna check it out, it's huge gigs though. It's like almost 100 gigs, like 90 something gigs of another game I bought and didn't play. Uh 
free to play. I mean, you bought it at launch or something? Or? Yep. Oh, uh, that sucks. You haven't played it since? <laughs> I put two hours in it. Oh, my God. I hope you got your money back somehow. <laughs> nah. No. Because no, no. I, I didn't. No. No. Jesus, man. This is sad, So Wolverine, too. a.k.a. Prophecy, wanted to let us know El Gato is Spanish for the cat. Uh, right. We also had Charlie eight fourteen say yo and uh, Peter George thirteen say hi. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, Charlie? Thanks what's for up, coming. Peter? What's good? Yeah. What's good? I'm glad. You, I hope you guys tuned in for the Taco Talk, uh, and that and that's where you guys left. I mean, <laughs> it's where why people come here. Is yeah, to talk about fast food tacos. I I just want to say I didn't bring up the Taco Talk this time. <laughs> I think you yeah, did. <laughs> You still did. I, I just said Elgato, sir. But moving on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, the Destiny thing is uh, interesting. Uh, I, I don't know how much of the free stuff they freed up from the uh, <laughs> from whatever was paid before. But I hear it's a mm. decent amount. Um, I mean, I'm kind of tempted to try. Everything up until yeah. the, this Shadow Keep is now That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah. That's a lot of content. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, there's some stuff that the the good stuff is always going to be behind the paywall. Yeah, like the new stuff that they added. But I mean, I'm tempted to try it because I, I like the um, campaign of the because I know PlayStation Plus had the, the free version, and I tried the campaign. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah. So I mean, I'm tempted to try it, but I just it's just so many gigs. I don't I don't know if I can spare it. <laughs> Oh, uh, you're working on the memory already? Yeah, he's saying you don't get the Forsaken DLC. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, Infinity. Yeah. Uh, Infinity Lion also is overruling you, Will. He says, love food, talk corner. Please tell me more. <laughs> Will. <laughs> All right. Well, if, if you know, if After Infinity show, Lion maybe. wants it. Maybe. You know, if, he, if he likes it, then uh, I guess we can't, I can't argue with that. Yeah, you know, that you know. We'll talk about uh, Burger King's Impossible Burger sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you had it? Yes. Okay. What, do you want to give yeah. my opinion? <laughs> yeah, no, do not give your opinion on this, Dustin. I, I, it, it's okay. Is that is that okay, Will? It's, yeah, it's yeah, okay. that's fine. That's why that works for me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. All no right. more food talk. We will move yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, no I have so many questions, though. No, you don't. No, you <laughs> don't. Look, it's just okay. Like I'm being honest. That's all it is. There's no, there's no more What's, you need to know. But even what, I would say the, the Whopper real? itself is yes, the cheese was real. The Whopper itself, like just having a regular Whopper, is now just okay as well. I don't think it's fucking. Great but, at all. Hey, but did you did you uh, put the cheese to a flame to see if it actually melted or burned? Steph, wow. stop extending this, this <laughs> conversation. Have you asked that? <laughs> I know you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> All I'm saying is by next week, somebody's in this chat. I don't know who. Somebody is trying to cheese at pizza. <laughs> I'm not eating that the shit. You will. fucking get it. Get... <laughs> yeah, so, get so that. Anyway, yeah. All right. uh, so, so let's talk about uh, this. I guess, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I mean that's kind of a I mean, I was going to try it at some point, but like I said, I, I can't spare the gigs, man. I have too many games, so the maybe game at some point. Certain. Well, this is why he refused to sign up for it for so long. <laughs> it was all about space on his hard drive. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Well. So are you, are you guys going to try it out? Hell no. I would out. I, honestly, if it's that many gigs, I need to go and delete it off my hard drive now. I didn't realize I was taking up that much space. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh, Destiny 2, Eric. Uh, it went free to play. Uh, oh, no. Destiny 2? Oh. I'll, tell you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what did come out, Will. What? Apex, Apex Legends Season oh, 3. Oh, yeah. They, 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 added, they added a new, uh, oh, new map, New right? map, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's, that's been asking for it for the past couple months. <laughs> they finally gave it. It's your I don't know. Um, Destiny 2 is like a weird thing to go back. I don't know. It's free to play. That's... Yes. I mean, the only thing I can understand if, if people don't want to play it on Xbox, <laughs> they, Bungie and Activision kind of screwed over the, that fan base so badly with all the, you know, uh, exclusive content on PlayStation. So but it's all get, gone though. It's all gone now. Yeah, it's all kind of uh, folded in, I guess now or whatever. But 
it's too it's kind of late man i don't know i guess maybe we'll see if the if the new dlc makes up for it so, uh now that everything's kind of more of an even keel but uh yeah yeah not seeing too many people playing it on my friends list Mm, and yeah, I made either. probably like I made probably like twenty, thirty friends from the first Destiny, and mm. none of them play that shit anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, right? It's like it's I loved like the first Destiny, dude. I, I loved that game, I really did. And then honestly, I think that's what killed it for me was the con- the exclusive content and uh, PUBG. PUBG, yeah, PUBG did it for me, which I. Uh, updated on my PC. I gotta get back into it again. Yeah, but yeah, PC. man. Apex Legends season. Yeah, Apex Legends piece. Uh, uh, season three though. That ass shit is fire. Uh, the even like the kind of reminds me of like Overwatch. How like they do their like the cutscenes and like they give their characters like light. They make them so cool. Yeah. Like I really wish there was a single player for this game. Or I mean. It, just like a story mode, just not, just to uh, know more, because there's like a list. They even dropped like a, uh, not just like a cutscene to like for the new season, but like stories behind the characters, why they look the way they do, and you know before the whole, uh, I guess the ring and all that stuff, how it all happened. It's pretty, it's pretty neat, man. Oh, so they added that to the new season as well, like the backstories for these characters. Yeah, uh, yeah, they put it on their YouTube. They put it on like their their official YouTube page where you can just go watch, uh, like a wraith. I think that's her name, the chick, you know, that faces and stuff like yeah. that. They show like how she got experimented on and all, that, and how she got her powers and stuff. It's pretty man. It's, it's pretty neat, man. I think that she honestly could have her own game. Would be pretty cool. Like her powers are cool, are different enough. And um, she's got like you know, pretty distinct like voice. I think mm-hmm. that she could be a pretty cool character. She reminds me a lot of uh, chick from Perfect Dark. Like if she got like powers, yeah. kind of reminds me of her a lot. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, shame. man. I wish, uh, I wish uh, everybody should try that definitely. If you like the game, really good. Yeah, Prophecy's asking if uh, Battle Royale is still going strong. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, with the, you know, PUBG. I think uh, between Apex and PUBG and and, Pub, and what else is the one? Uh, Fortnite. Fortnite. It's you know not going away anytime soon. Like ah, uh, when you say strong, do you mean like like how it was when Apex Legends first dropped and when Fortnite finally became a thing? Is it going that strong? I'm gonna say no. I think no. I think that there has been a bigger drop off than people realize uh because of games like uh uh overwatch and all those other games that are, have already been out that just all they do is update basically people yeah. go back to them that's basically what it is but well, i mean I fortnite think... still is as big as ever yeah yeah i mean although i think uh cross play they will definitely increase the uh yeah i think this new call of duty is going to be huge yeah. Uh, is Apex? Uh, it's not crossplay yet, right? No. That would be a no, nice one. It's not. I wish they would do that because my uh, kids ask to play with me all the time. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Cause like, it's cool. Yeah, it's cool in PUBG because that way. I mean, the only thing that sucks is the PC doesn't have crossplay with the consoles, right? So you can't really. No, that's good. You don't fucking want that. You no, I know want that smoke will. I don't know, but you don't you don't get that competition, you know, because like I was playing PUBG with a, a couple of dudes and like we were like, oh yeah, we took out those PlayStation dudes. It was, it was pretty cool. But they'll take us out. You're like, oh man, we lost us. How do you dudes. know? How do you know? <laughs> they'll show you. Like, How do you know? Because if it's not um if it's a PlayStation person, it will show, it'll show a controller that that killed you. Um, like on the kill feed, or if that, if it's a person on Xbox, it'll show like the Xbox uh, symbol. I guess they don't. They're not showing the PlayStation symbol on there. For whatever reason, I guess they're, I don't know if it's legally or something, but uh, you could, you could definitely tell. If you can't talk, if you can't talk then to each other, then it doesn't mean anything to me. Can you party up with people on a different console? No, just Xbox. But I don't think it really matters with PUBG. I mean, you're kind of with your own party. Nah, bro. Proximity chat in Uh, PUBG is fucking great. Have you ever played, like, I mean, you played solos and had to chat on. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I, I usually because we always party up. So I don't, I don't really have party chat. I mean, uh, proximity chat on. Uh, only like if it's like with rounds. Well, I have to try that out. I'll see. Uh, if I, 
you can do that with the, the yeah dude, it's awesome yeah it's pretty cool it's like Steve of Thieves does that too I think uh, pretty well yeah yeah that's that's actually a pretty pretty good example yeah. anyway so is there any more news that we want to go over anything else came out oh prophecy's asking uh Call of Duty Mobile. Oh no, if any line ask a Call of Duty, Call of Duty Mobile, anyone? And uh, Prophecy asks. Nah, I'm good. COD Mobile. I don't think it, I don't think anybody's played it right here. I haven't played it, but it's on PC too, and people you can use the keyboard and mouse to play it. So I'm just gonna try it. Mobile on PC. Yeah, that uh, they there's a gonna there's a mobile version that you can download on your PC and use key, keyboard and mouse. It's the same wow. thing that's on the <laughs> phone, and you can that's yeah, bad. that's bad. <laughs> just just like PUBG, I got the mobile version of PUBG on my computer, and I can play it with keyboard and mouse. It's the same so thing. Just, so you just slaughter people left and right. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's not good. Yeah, it's, it's not fair. I mean, it's cool and all, but. Dude, people, people always find a way to make games like that not fun. Like it's <laughs> supposed to just be a little yeah. get on your phone, tap tap tap. Nah, this dude got a seventy dollar controller and he's playing it. He's slaying everybody, <laughs> or he's on his computer. He's on his computer using it, his keyboard and mouse, and he's leaning. You can't even you ain't even supposed to be able to lean in PUBG on the on on the handheld, but you lean and shooting me behind a tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. And props to uh, from... crossplay makes sense. More players is better. Yeah, definitely, man. Uh, there should be like now that it's more of a uh, thing. I think they should do it for fighting games mo- most of all. Do those games really? Yeah, I mean them. Tekken. Uh, Tekken was uh, one of the ones that said they wanted to have it in there. Yeah. Maybe they'll go. They go back and they uh, they do that. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, but PlayStation went with it, so. They can ne- the next one will have it in there. I want to say there was another uh, fighting game, uh, Soul Calibur. I think wanted it too. Yeah, yeah. Soul Calibur and Tekken were the ones that wanted it. So definitely, the next fighting games will have it. That would be that would be great. Which I will I will concede that uh, the PlayStation guys they probably they probably better at fighting games because <laughs> I thought I, I thought I had the juice and then I went over to my friend's house or not to my friend's house. I went somewhere with my friend. To hit one of his friends' house, and they were playing on a PlayStation, and they fucking was dusting me. I was like, "God damn!" <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. definitely, it's a it's a big genre on the PlayStation. They have more uh, fighters over. There. It is, but I, I I remember when Street Fighter Four came out, and uh, you know, I was playing on the 360 that you know at the time, and I felt like that was the place to play fighting games. Like the 360, but for some reason, the difference in 360 and in PlayStation uh, and Xbox One, like far as fighting games, is like drastically different. Like you yeah. could get all the Blaze Blues on 360, and and uh, I can't even think of the other name of the other fucking game, Guilty Gear. All that shit was on 360. Yeah, uh, man. none of that stuff now. That's weird yeah. how they just yeah. like it's really dropped off. Yeah, I guess because like it was during a time where um they weren't really very Japanese friendly uh, Xbox, and they were kind of under a lot of criticism. Like the only game that kind of got through was uh Blaze Blue, uh I forgot what the what it was, Chrono Phantasma or something like that. I don't know. One of them got through, but I guess they didn't like the sales of it, so they didn't put any more of them. But it sucks because we kind of missed out on Guilty Gear. Hopefully, the next one comes out on Xbox. That'd be nice. It's not coming to Xbox, bro. So I think let me so. go ahead and spoil that story, bro. We're not getting no, no, no. There's a reason why you, Sony don't pay for a lot of this stuff. They don't do it because whenever the have you looked at the uh, you know when they release the NPD numbers mm-hmm. and they show like the breakdown like Europe, like America, Europe, and Japan. It, yeah, it's not that big of a difference between America. Uh. In like uh, Xbox, Nintendo, and PlayStation, not a huge difference. It's like a ten thousand or less difference between Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo. But in Europe, Sony almost doubles what it sells in America. Nintendo is not too far behind them, and in Japan, Nintendo is like double what it does in America, and Xbox would be like twenty, eighty-five. I was like. 
double digit number of consoles sold. There's no reason why they should develop a con. I mean, 20 consoles, 30, 40, 50 consoles getting sold in a month. Why the hell are they making games? Their games for that con? I don't even blame. Yeah, I mean the the split is pretty bad, but I, I do think they should at least still make the effort. At least, I mean, try with Guilty Gear, and if you know if it's still you know bad, then just don't you know do it again. But I think Guilty Gear Bro, has been I, uh, for a while since like the, the 360 port of like. I I sure. wouldn't be surprised if they didn't think the console even exists. <laughs> I know, but I, I did, mean, I'm not did. even. I mean, ahead. there was an interview. Sorry, with the with the creator uh, Daisuke. Uh, Issue with Tari or something like that. He was saying he wanted to expand to more platforms. So, I mean, I know PC is definitely a thing, and then maybe maybe Switch. I'm guessing, but yeah, that's but, that's the yeah that's the thing that was weird to me. Why is it not on PC? It's like PlayStation is the only thing. Like you are making these games with computers. PC is huge. PC is is as big as it's ever been. Now and that's why we're gonna end PC today. That's what we're doing. <laughs> What's that? Getting rid of PCs. What do you mean? It's going to be on... Getting rid of PCs. Media. I'm on a PC right <laughs> now <laughs> recording this podcast. Yeah. Well, I'm on this PC right now broadcasting and recording this podcast. Literally Try. recording. Sir. <laughs> oh, uh, now, I can ask you this. Uh, any Anything else you want to cover? We're just kind of rambling. Oh, uh, man, we're rambling, and I'm ready to do Anime Corner. So I watched some anime, sir. All right, let's go. Anime Tell me corner. what you watched. Oh, man. All right, so I watched Astra, Black Clover, Demon Slayer, Dr. Stone, Fairy Tale, and One Piece. That's right. Watched a ton of anime. All right, tell me about One Piece. Cause... Tell me about One Piece. Let's hear it. Oh, man, One Piece is going, like, it's, uh, we got to the part where Luffy's being a sumo wrestler. He, uh. uh oh, that shit was tight. That third, where he get gear three. <laughs> he tossed that ball for you. That's how, uh, you know what I mean? That shit was you know, He, he, he was. That skinny ass little dude just beat beat the shit out of his ass. <laughs> uh, all yeah, right, she was bald. but yeah, I mean we're we're still you know he's still trying to save the little girl and dude was trying to like rip her cheek off to see what her power is. Yeah, and Luffy's just like, no, nah, I'm yeah, about I... to fucking destroy this whole place just to protect her. But it was you know it was that's uh, a look that, that's a that's a that's a. Bro, the chapter that came out last week, Dustin, I know. I hate to be that guy that reads the manga. But, bro, the shit that came out last week, Dustin. Oh, yeah. my God. I about cried, dude. It was so baller. Can I tell you what happened? Now, can I tell you what they showed? It's not a spoiler, really, or anything. I, can, I, I can I just can I tell you? It doesn't bother me. Oh, they released all the bounties of everybody. Everybody's bounty. We know oh, what okay. Shank's bounty is now. Well, okay. We know what. Uh, we didn't even we know what Gold Rogers bounty was when he when before when he was executed. Okay. All that shit. That's awesome. Oh man, that shit blew my mind. Let me just say that we know Big Mom's and Kaido's bounty and White Bear's bounty. Ah, oh, it was great. It was great. It was great. Okay. Moving uh, on. We, to, uh, I'm gonna just like get through my anime because I've watched quite a bit of it. All right, go ahead. All right. Uh, Astra, Lost in Space. I watched the actual end of the series, the final episode. It was like 40 minutes long. For an anime, it was like a fucking movie. Uh, they they kind of like get back to Earth and like they're like going over and I, I, it felt like they were wanted to end the series as fast as possible. Like they knew they weren't going to have a budget to do it. So they just like went and this happened. And then seven years later, then this happened and this happened. Like we're going to explain everything that could possibly happen. And that way, you know how these characters ended up. I felt it's just weird that it was so rushed because I actually was enjoying it, but there's just no, unless they're setting up a season two where they kind of all go out again in a spaceship, to do their thing like it it's it's just a weird way of finishing an anime like it was just really weird like it's hard to explain without somebody else watching it uh and i don't want to yeah, i haven't seen this I yet do recommend is it, it on funimation it. yeah it's on funimation uh black Dubbed. clover uh i've been watched i just finished watching that today uh that's oh astra is completely dubbed uh black clover i've been watching on crunchyroll uh because I wanted to watch the subtitle, like the non-dub, just so that I can see the latest episodes. Because they're about four episodes behind. 
for the dub on yeah. Black Clover. Uh, and it's uh, what happened, dude. Man, they're they're protecting the village. Oh, no spoilers. The sword, you know. He he. They're protecting a village. Like that's. No. There's a lot of stuff going on. Like it's, you know, it, it's. I still like Black Clover. It's it, in a lot of ways. It's, it reminds me of One Piece because they take their time with the story and they're not rushing through it just to go. Is there fillers? Is, huh? Is there fillers? No, there's filler, but it's still like good enough where you want to see what's going on with characters. Uh, versus like, because mm-hmm. don't get me wrong, I watched One Piece. Like you know, I, I watched it again, and it's it was. It's not as good the second time through, but it's still really good. I can't believe you watched 800 episodes twice. Yep. That's right, people. All right. Uh, Demon Slayer. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, he got all healed up. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, things that have to train. Uh, no on. spoilers. You're way, I'm not trying you're way to, ahead I'm of me. No spoilers. I'm not spoiling on everybody. You know, people. I, I said, man, we got some medicine. Did you think it's spoiling to some shit? Man got some medicine, healed up, so he's training. Uh, and this is another anime that's taking their time. And it's something I really enjoy. Like, it's like he's not just... Because I watched uh, uh, Spawn, like, what was it? Resurrected in a World as a Slime. And, like, every episode was just like, and now he does this impossible feat. It, like, had that Dragon Ball Z thing, but it then never earned it. It was just like, and he's just this impossibly strong for no reason. There he goes. I don't like that in anime. So Demon Slayer, uh, Fairy Tale, I finished that because that actually ended. The finale came on. And, you know, it's sad to see that show go, but there's a possibility we're going to get a movie or something out of it because they end it with... Uh, they ended by showing... Like, him them going on another quest. Uh, which, even if they don't do a movie, I think that's the only real way to end a show like that is by going... And then they all kind of lived happily ever after doing their quest, doing, you know, going on these adventures. Like, you don't want to just see, yeah, Natsu turned old and then he retired. Like, that's not what you want out of that, out of an ending. You kind of want this happily ever after ending of, like, yeah, and Natsu was still burning down, like, oh, being way too overpowered and burning down buildings because he can't control his power. Like, it, it's, it's a fun story arc for his character. But they did a really good job with it. I was kind of disappointed that they didn't uh, take more time to fight this big villain that they had built up. Because they kind of, like, kill him off in, like, like the first ten minutes of the... Or five minutes of this episode. Like, it just felt kind of underwhelming with what they did with them. Because, I, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. Very weird. But it's the power of friendship, people. That's how fairy tale ends. If you wanted to really know. The power of friendship. Uh, what else did I watch? Dr. Stone has been getting really good. The tournament has started for Dr. Stone. Um, uh, he, the, the, the nation of science is growing. I definitely do recommend the anime though. It's really good. But that's all I've been okay. watching. And I don't want to get really much further into them because I would just spoil the hell out of all of them. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'll just go in real quick. Say I've been watching Demon Slayer. And it's real good. What point? Real, you? real, real fucking good. Uh, I'm on episode like 12, I think. Okay. Uh, this is after, well, never mind. I don't want to spoil anything. Let's just say he sees the guy. He finds a house and uh, there's an altercation. And some stuff happens after that. And I'm sure you know where I'm at. Yes. Uh, so terrible. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty ball. It's pretty, pretty good shit. But yeah, but uh, a lot of that's pretty much uh, all I've been watching. <laughs> well, what was you gonna say? No, I'm just saying a lot of them ended. Like Fairy Tale and Aster were both the season finale, so I'm not gonna have as much out of it next week. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's okay. You're I fine, might have man. to find some new shows, but yeah, it's Fairy Tale has been one. I've I've watched Fairy. You think of One Piece is bad? Like I've watched Fairy Tale, probably four times, all the way through, four or five well, times. I'm, I'm rewatching Yu Yu Hakusho right now. That's and Fairy Tale really is. One second, I'll tell you how many episodes. Fairy Tale's up there with One Piece in episodes. It's fucking insane. It's like what six hundred, isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty up there. 
All right. Uh, uh, you you say you all the way through? No, I still have to watch. I, I got through. I'm. Which tournament I am? I'm in the tournament where the old lady's fighting with him. That's as far as I got. You need to watch that show. So let me just tell you if you, if you do anything, that shit you need to watch. It's, it's the OG GOAT. And that's not even the best shit in the show. All right. It's, it's, I just want to let awesome. you know your mic is really like low right now for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry. And that's, I know that's better. And I bet. You need to watch that shit. Okay. I, I will definitely watch it. It's on uh, Funimation, right? Yeah, it's on there. Okay. All right. Will, have you been watching any anime before we move on? No, I've been meaning to get back to uh, Evangelion, but just kind of playing a lot of games. So uh, I haven't had the chance. Maybe I'll, I'll check it out maybe next okay. couple of days. Well, uh, what is it? What did you watch? Oh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. It's on Netflix, so that it has the new dub and all that oh, stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I definitely get back to that. I mean, I do want to check out... um. What's that? Demon Slayer? That sounds like it's a cool anime. I keep hearing good things about it. So it's awesome, man. It's really, really good. It's not dubbed, though. It's yeah. not uh, but the dub's so. coming out so, this... Isn't it this holiday that they're going to start the dub? Or is it... I think year? it comes out this month or in or in November. No, it comes out this year. It's either October or, November, or this month or next month. Yeah. But I, I, it's, it's worth I'm... watching both ways. Like, I support yeah. it completely like it's it is really freaking good well i'm kind of not watching it that fast because i really i want to at least check out the first episode if the dub is good then i'll just go ahead and watch the dub but if it's trash i'm just gonna watch the rest of it so and be honest with you because i'd rather i'd rather watch it in english because i feel like you miss so much stuff reading it and yeah. watching it i have to yeah, watch it more than once is... when i'm reading it it's the arts. Yeah, it's so good, best. man. It's very beautiful. It's up there. It's one of the best drawn. It's animals. it's number one. I, tell me something that looks better than this, please. I'll go watch it right now. <laughs> I mean, it's I mean, it's all preference. Uh, I think Samurai Champloo is fucking gorgeous. But it is. I mean, nah, you can tell certain episodes. You could tell were like drawn like worse. Like I don't know. You can certain animes. No, 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 you can tell. Agree, but it's show cuts. Yeah. Nah, this shit is top notch. Every scene, every fucking everything. It looks, uh, it looks beautiful. It's great. It's, it's the best shit. So you saying it's premium, premium quality anime? <laughs> yeah, bro. That shit is it's shit like fucking Colombian motherfucking white cocaine. That's what that shit is, bro. That's pure. <laughs> nice. And My Hero Academia is drawn pretty good too. Yeah, that's two good shows you haven't seen. Well, what's my? You ain't seen My Hero, right? Uh, no, not yet. I do want to check it out though, too. <clears throat> Are you wilding, bro? You uh, need to watch My Hero, you, and you need to watch Demon Slayer. All right, that, so I can make a, what I've been playing really quick. I've been I picked up Ori in the Blind Forest for my Switch, and I've been playing the hell out of that. Uh, I've really nice. enjoyed it. It's a great, you know, it's a great game. We've talked about it a couple times. In the past, I definitely recommend it on any platform you can get it on. Uh, and uh, the, the only other thing I've really been playing is Sea of Thieves. I'm up to Athena level 9.5, so I need to finish that off just to get my Athena level 10. And then I will have conquered the Athena quest. So that's the only thing I'm, I've been working on. And if anybody wants to play some Sea of Thieves, even, you know, anybody out there listening to the show, please hit me up at Bazooka XP on Xbox, and I'm definitely down to play. So, so what do you? What's the goal for Athena Quest? What do you have to do? Uh, it's an Athena level. Like you are, get, you're turning an Athena chest to get your score all the way up to level ten. And then it <coughs> unlocks cosmetics. Uh, so it's more fetch quests, basically, like kind of just. Essentially, you go through. You get okay. So you know how you have the wheel for your quest, right? You have. Yeah. Uh, I think it's eight, nine quests on a wheel. Uh, no, it's eight. Is it? Oh, sorry. What's that? Yeah. So you got your not instead of just giving two quests like a normal mission does, or three or five, like it fills the entire will up with uh, two skull quests, two uh, two of like each type of quest, mm. um, and then you have to go through all the islands and dig everything up, and you know fight off skeletons and deal with all the crazy people in the devils. Like I've been playing in the devils roar the entire time, uh, but. Mm. You're doing that whole, you know, shtick. 
So you're kind of just playing everything. <clears throat> so when are they going to add, add a... Infinity Line like, wants to let me know. I am down to play if you want to teach a beginner. I am totally down to teach a beginner. I have no issue playing with beginners. I play with Will all the time. <laughs> oh, yes. sorry, Will. Yes, he sorry. is a hard. He's a hard man to sell for. Look, I'll square hey, and Will, I, you're he's not very the demanding worst. on the ship. He's not the worst person I sailed with. I have another friend, and his name's Barlow. The man. We were sitting there doing a fort, right? And we're getting the chest out of it, and he starts trying. He no, we're not getting the chest out yet. We're still fighting the skeletons, and he didn't realize where the fuck we were. It was taking the loot off our boat, going up to a fucking skeleton, <laughs> and trying to deliver the loot. And we were like, "What the fuck are you doing? It's like this is a skull fort. You're here to kill things, and then we'll get loot and put it on the ship. Like, what are you doing?" And he's like, "Oh, you don't turn stuff in here." <laughs> like, what the hell? It's, that's Come on, that's man. pretty bad. And he just doesn't under like. And he's not, it's not like he's a dumb gamer. Like, this man destroys it, like, uh, uh, what is it, Rainbow Six Siege. Like, he gets, like, he's a good Minecraft. Player. Yeah. No, he's not a big Minecraft player. Like, I just said that. I just wanted, I wanted to get that out before you said Rainbow Six Siege. It would have sounded better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he kills at it, but, like, he just, Sea of Thieves does not connect. Like, it, some people just don't get the same kind of drive from it. At the end of the day, yeah. so uh, but yeah, he's, Infinity Line. He's I'm not totally a thief. Down. The... We could definitely play some Sea of Thieves. We'll have to hit up one night and sail the seas because me yeah, and Mer are always looking for uh, another mate to to sail the seas with us. Yeah, I'd be down too. That's it. Looking for a mate, my guy. Okay, mate, I see y'all. Y'all go ahead. Mate. Get y'all. Get y'all scurvy on. Y'all do that. Oh man, we got bananas all day, sir. Bananas all day. No scurvy over here. No scurvy. My apologies, sir. Hey, did, what did you buy, Pat? I did. I, I have one what of did each. You get? Which one did you get? All of them. Oh, really? How, how, oh. <laughs> how much are they? <laughs> Expensive. $5, oh, yeah. essentially, oh, per pet. That's not terrible. Uh, that's not terrible. I bought. I got four yeah, pets. Yeah. I got a parakeet, the parrot, the and the two, set, the two different types of monkey, the... Monkeys they have, so I got... the monkeys look cool. Yeah, but uh, honestly, the Does little the parakeet talk? is fucking awesome. The they do not talk. That Does would actually be badass. Because uh, we, I was talking to a like they need to add voice like shanties, ball. like actual shanties to the game. And there's like, well, you'd have to choose a voice, and people aren't going to want to have you know. It'd be so much effort to put voices in the game, and it's like maybe the parrots could talk. It's a fucking brilliant. Let's let this parrot sing shanties on the boat while they're flying around. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I just good. want them when you talk, when you're like talking in your mic, you hear yourself talk back, and it's the fucking parrot talking. That'd be that'd be pretty fucking epic. Uh, I'll be <laughs> honest, I that was that's an awesome idea for the future. You should you should send that idea to them. Yeah, uh, so, but you would wouldn't be able to be in party chat. You'd have to be in game chat. And then they wouldn't be able to con really control yeah. what the parrots are saying. Like, I can already see people saying yeah. some terrible <laughs> things. Yeah. Really terrible things. Yeah. It's, like building, it's like building penises in Minecraft. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> that happens. There's an audience. There is an audience. But uh, other than that, that's all I've been playing. Steph, what have you been playing? I have been playing Gears. And, um... Pretty close to beating uh, the third act, which I know oh, there's four, right? There's only four, there's acts. four acts. You're at the yeah. pretty much the yeah. last, like the fourth act is definitely not as long as the third, just because you no. know so much. Okay. Time. Okay, so yeah, I'm but I'm I'm pretty close to beating the game, so I've been playing that. But since I'm playing it in the living room on the 4K TV, set on my gaming monitor, I have to share the TV time, so I haven't been able to play it as much as I'd like to. But uh, it's it's fucking awesome, man. Uh, it's still a good game. I still feel the same way I did last time I talked about it. Um, it's making me uh, hate 30 frames per second, though. I will say that. I don't want to play any game unless it's 60 frames. Yeah, anymore. man. That definitely has that effect. It's so good looking. I know, like, uh, my uh, kid was wanting to play Spider-Man the other day on the PlayStation. Mm hmm and I could have sworn I ruined my PS4 disk drive with the Spider-Man. And he's like, I want to play it. I was like, man, this shit don't work. I'm trying to tell you. And I put the disc in, and it worked. I was like, damn, okay. Well, shit, I guess it fixed itself. So 
It <laughs> sounds like you're fucking. It sounds like you. you have you guys, guys ever used a Beyblade? You know what those things are? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The fucking little. It's, that's what it sounds like when it's spinning. It sounds like oh, you're wow. fucking launching a Beyblade and, <laughs> and it's hitting another Beyblade. That's, that's <laughs> that shit sounds like in the PS4. That's because I, uh, yeah, I know it sounds horrible. It sounds like it's fucking. Uh, it, I don't know, it sounds horrible. It sounds like you're ice skating on fucking metal. Uh, but I uh, had it turned sideways, and I was trying to like plug something in while the game was going. I think I was trying to put the HDMI in or so. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing. I was doing something dumb. Let me just say that. I fucked it up. That's my bad. <laughs> and and, it, I, and ate the disc like a 360. Uh, no. Say what? No, your son can't play it. No, nah, no, nah, it works. I mean, it didn't uh. work for like a like for a long time and then randomly one day he asked and I was like, All right, bro, I put it in there and it shit started working. So <laughs> hey, whatever. Yeah, maybe time time does heal old wounds. Maybe it was a system <laughs> update. Stability update, sir. Stability. Yeah. Might have fixed it. I don't know, bro. It's fu- it was a disc. The it disc tray. Sta- it didn't the read the disc. It wasn't stable enough, sir. It needed stability. Sony gave yeah, it that I don't know. Well, I think yeah. one of my other kids just like punched it or something and then it fixed it. But anyway, uh, so he's playing that and it's at 30 frames. And I was like, God, this shit's horrible. <laughs> he looked I at mean, it. Not just, no, I'm not. Well, it, I mean, it still looks pretty, but it's like, the, it's, it's not, not as. It's not Gears. That, that's what it is. Like, Gears ruined a lot damn, of games. It's not, it's, it's not even that it's Gears. It's not at 60 frames. I wouldn't no, even no, say no, what Gears. What I'm saying it's, is, it's it's not, it's, like, Gears is four, pretty much 4K 60. Like, when you look yeah. at Gears, you go back to another game, you're like, man, like, Gears runs really smooth, and it fucking looks, it looks great. So the characters just pop off the... Like, whenever you're driving the skiff, and you're in the in, at the in, in the desert, and you go over the rocks, like, the little pebbles in the, like... Yeah. So I know what it sounds like when you, like, hit gravel on the skate. I don't know if you guys ever done that. It's stupid. If, if you ever do that but <laughs> it reminds me of that sound or like mm-hmm. when you're on the beach and you're like skidding or whatever you, with that little shit board and you go over the seashell it sounds it sounds like oh it sounds good like, ah, it's, like it's a great it, it's a great game man yeah. uh, spider-man just still does look pretty good but it's just not it's, yeah, it's just moving different. around man it doesn't look <laughs> it's, it is different but uh yeah real quick has anyone tried PC stuff like anyone try that? No, yet. I want to try it, but uh, I don't want to sign up for you, even for free. So <laughs> I guess I'll leave it for my my imagination for now because I already have the games too. So I don't really yeah. need it. But I, I am yeah. curious to see how it looks, how it performs, and stuff like. That. I heard it looks like a, P, a base PS4 because it's only 720p. Uh, interesting. So yeah. Yeah, anyway, curious. that's all. I, that's all I played though. So uh, go ahead, Will. No, that's cool. Uh, I, I was wondering, like the, the sand level in the years. I was like, I was like, huh? I was like, the skiff is cool, but I was like, I wonder if they could have put it like a like a vehicle in there, like some other. I know the skiff makes more sense because it's like sand. Vehicle wouldn't work that well in sand, but <clears throat> I wonder if they're gonna add more vehicles like be in the next years. That'd be pretty cool if we could drive one. With a co-op partner and start shooting stuff in a vehicle. I like like the first gears, I think, because remember there was that part with a krill, and you, you had to like drive that tank thing. Yeah, I like the motorcycles that they had. There's like a motorcycle in there. One of the gears games was it? Yeah, four, I think. But it was so brief. It was no, like, no. Well, I mean, not not that one, and like one of the other ones. There's not a motorcycle. It was the more. It was like a a, a locust vehicle. I forgot oh, what it was called. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. It's like a kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They always had like vehicles, like, <clears throat> but uh, like uh, kind of in an open world, it'd be pretty cool. Like to have like a something other than the it's as cool as a skiff is. But I don't know. It just seemed like they were kind of they built the game around like those portions around the skiff instead of like kind of putting something new in there. But I mean, it's still cool. It works. You know. It works is for the, it it's is, new. but like, it's if it's not new enough, I got ADHD. Okay, and if <laughs> I don't have a new vehicle every three minutes, yeah, you gotta have some more tech, man. No, but uh, so yeah, so I've been playing. Uh, it, it, it made of, sense yeah. in the world, though. Will just to it end did. on that. There is a oh, Skip felt really good. 
It was awesome. Like, I'm, I'm glad it was in the game. Yeah, like you said, it's because of the wind and um, and the, they need. This might be a dumb question, but is that a real thing that they they that's in real life? There's versions of that. In real yeah. Life. yeah. Uh, I haven't. I don't know. Maybe I'm guessing. Okay. Okay. My bad. My bad. If that was a dumb question, I, I mean, wasn't sure. I'm sure, <laughs> sure it's based off like boats and stuff like that. <laughs> Boat technology. <laughs> I didn't know if there was, was like some say, sort of thing of like parasailing. Like yeah, thing. pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, yeah. So I've been playing. Let's see a whole lot of shit. But uh, like from the Game Pass, I've been trying out um, a few things. I tried a uh, Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, usually not my type of game, but uh, I actually kind of liked it when I was playing it because it's more it's more realistic and uh, a lot more rules driven. Um, I, I never really like also the, the rally portions, but I, when I tried it, it's it's actually kind of fun. It's almost like a like trials where you have to like uh, navigate narrow like roads and uh, get your best time, which was pretty cool. And they also had like another mode which is uh, called rally cross, which is pretty much like like a racing game, but you have to do a lot of uh, a lot of rounds of the same track. So if you're kind of add, uh, you, know, <laughs> you might just want to play that for a few you know matches but uh yeah it's it's pretty good i like dirt rally i might try to buy that it is on sale right now i think it's like 31 for the deluxe edition so but i'm kind of poor right now so i might have to stick it out <laughs> uh you got game pass for. yeah man so that's what that's what i told myself fix your mic <laughs> stuff all right but do you got any other games you want to cover? Uh, yes, yeah, so I played. Uh, yeah, I played Bloodstain. Well, I actually bought Bloodstain, even though I had it on Game Pass. Yeah. Um, that's still cool. Uh, I played some. What else? State of Decay Two because they had that update with the clothing, which is pretty cool. Uh, played PUBG, my usual. Uh, Tekken Seven. I was playing some of that. That had an update today as well. Uh, Dirt Alive Six Core Fighters. Still waiting for that game to go on sale again because I really like that game now. And <clears throat> what else? Oh, another good Game Pass game is called Bad North. Um, mm -hmm. That's like a kind of a strategy kind of game. Yeah, I played that as well. It was uh, definitely interesting. Like, I didn't put, I probably put about an hour into it. Yeah, it's nice. That's a nice art style. So it's like a cartoony. Yeah. 3D. But it's like I, it's uh, hard to explain what that game is. It's it has like the controls of Civilization, mm -hmm. essentially. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's an RTS. Yeah, kind of, pretty much. Um, that and a uh, Shadow Tactics, too. That's that's another uh, Game Pass game. It's it's in Japan, and you play like uh, a bunch of different types of ninjas. And you have to infiltrate compounds and. You know, save people or you know assassinate you know different types of goals that's a really cool one i'm also waiting for a sale on that one so i can buy that but that's a really cool game uh, um and what else i think that's pretty much it uh i tried to get into pubg multiplayer and you know i mean not pubg uh crackdown 3 and that's still not working so i i, I uninstalled that again <laughs> wait, wait why is it not working i don't know nobody's on right now for that game for the for the Crackdown Three multiplayer, it's. Did you say you don't know? It's dead, man. I don't know. It's it's it sucks because they updated it with a few things, but then not, nobody is playing it now. So it's like you can't even get any because uh, it's like it's, nobody. It's, I know. <laughs> no one play. ain't no. I don't know. Nah. That's uh. What's that game that that uh? That, fuck. What's that shit called that my, my guy made that? Fuck, what's his name? Lawbreakers, yeah. What's the other yeah. game he made after uh, Lawbreakers? Uh, um, Fuck, what's it called? I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, it's like an 80s anyway. kind of looking or 90s uh, type of game. It's like a it's like a battle royal game as well. Yeah, it's that shit. Nobody playing that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, it's weird because you would think that on Game Pass, there would be mm -mm. people playing mm -mm. it. But, Come on, but, Will. But it's not a uh, not even a thing anymore. It's it's, it's a shame, man. The more people I, playing Tetris, yeah, to play a Crackdown three multiplayer. <laughs> and I, I'm not even joking about that. There's a Tetris multiplayer game that fucking people play. Yeah, it's pretty surprised. popular. 
Yeah, they really uh, messed that one up. They. <laughs> That's an understatement, Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you can't shout get five hundred. Yeah, shout out to Crackdown Three. So you can't get five hundred achievement points. I only have one ten because I, I think I played. I got like a few achievements when I, when it was actually active, like the first week or so. But yeah, so I don't expect to get any achievement points from this game <laughs> unless you're not getting that for this shit, Will. Yeah, I'm just, pouring out the inside of my taco for the game. <laughs> I don't got no drink. So yeah, pouring just, out just, the inside just, my taco feeling. Yeah, do you sort of favor uninstall it and just the campaign because nothing that's ever going to happen with that wrecking zone. <laughs> you know what happens in the wrecking zone, don't you? That shit just get destroyed eventually. <sighs> oh, man. What a waste of resources that was. <laughs> that's, a, that's a shame. Yeah, I wonder if that's why that was delayed for that long. I think it was, but I wanted to sit up there with Gears and Halo, you know, to be the next big AAA IP that we can uh, come out. It's one of my favorite franchises. <laughs> I know it's weird because no. usually Xbox is multiplayer, and this game should have been a hit. But like, I think the only thing that people are gonna play now is just like the the co op mode. Really, that's all that people are gonna play now. Game. Well, I just think that it lacked. Uh, I mean, just think if it got as much polish as Gears Five, how good they'd be. Just wait, let's just let's leave it there. Yeah, there's no reason why they can make a game like Gears Five and then you had to have a game like Crackdown Three. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah, could have been so cool too. I remember when we seen that first like picture of uh Terry Crews and I was like, God damn, this is the game? No way. <laughs> yeah. It was wrong. It's it was very wrong. Shout out to Terry Crews. <laughs> Alright, did you play anything else, Will? Uh pretty much does it for me. All right. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in this week. We appreciate y'all showing up hitting us up in chat we will be back next week on wednesday at 8 p.m eastern uh but until then y'all take it easy and we out of here peace out everybody yeah peace out guys peace